sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today, we're going to be going over Week 10 USFL predictions. So last week, I had a record of 1-3, and three, and that brings my record on the USFL season to 19-17. and 17. So this is the final week of the regular season, and for some of these teams, it is essentially a playoff game, because for the teams in the North Division, it is a playoff game. Winning, you're in. Losing, your season's done. But beginning this week's games with the games we have on Saturday, starting off with the Generals against the Mowers. So the winner of this game will make the playoffs, and both teams actually picked up the win last week to remain in playoff contention. Now, I would expect this game to be a low-scoring game, as both teams have tremendous defenses. The Generals' offense is coming off a tremendous performance, with they put up 37 points, but I would still expect a lower-scoring game. Now, the Generals, they probably have the better offense, and I will take them getting the win, because even though the Mowers probably have the better defense, I think the Generals uh, can build off what they had with their offense last week, and... They've been a bit better lately, so I will take the Generals with the win. They will advance to the playoffs, and they will beat the Maulers by a score of 21-13. And another reason the Generals will get the win is because they have owned the Maulers uh, since the USFL returned last year, because the Generals have won all three of those meetings. So I've got the Generals winning 21-13 and making the playoffs. Next game, we've got the Showboats hosting the Stallions. So the Stallions have nothing to play for. But we don't know if they're going to rest starters. I don't think they will because earlier this week, uh, head coach Skip Holtz said he told players if they felt they needed to rest to uh, go to him and say they needed to rest. And nobody had, not a single player had come up to him and said, hey coach, I need to rest. So it seems like they're going to be playing their starters this week. Now for the Showboats, they can still make the playoffs, but they're going to need an absolute miracle. Because the Showboats will need to beat the Stallions. They will need to have the Gamblers beat the Breakers. They will need to have the Panthers beat the Stars. And they will also have to have a point spread between uh, themselves and the Breakers of 63 points. So the Showboats, they're going to need to put up an absolutely massive number and have the Breakers get essentially shut out. So it's possible, but highly unlikely for the Showboats. Now, another reason it's very unlikely for the Showboats is they're playing against the best team in the USFL in the Birmingham Stallions, and they're probably not resting starters, as I just said a second ago. And this is the Stallions team that absolutely embarrassed the Showboats back in Week 2, winning 42-2. Now, this is a totally different uh, different Memphis team, but they're coming off a bad loss to the Breakers, losing 31-3 to last week. So, I've got the uh, Stallions getting the win and eliminating the Showboats from playoff contention, winning by a score of 28-20. to But I could definitely see the Showboats uh, really getting the win, because they're at home. They, they know their season's on the line right here, and still, it's going to be highly unlikely. But uh, I've got the Showboats... Uh, sorry, the Stallions defeating the Showboats, eliminated from playoff contention, and the Stallions officially clinched to one seed in the South Division, even though it is guaranteed uh, the South Division playoff game will be held in Birmingham. And a quick side note about this game, for the Stallions, if quarterback Alex Magoo scores three total touchdowns, he will set a new uh, record for most touchdowns in modern spring football, surpassing A.J. McCarron of the XFL, who had 25 earlier this year. Alex Magoo currently sits at 23 total touchdowns. Moving to the games on Sunday, we've got the Breakers hosting the Gamblers. So this game could essentially decide the final playoff spot in the South Division. Because if the Breakers win, they're they're in. They're the only team in the South Division to control their own destiny this week. But if the Gamblers win, then it's going to come down to some crazy tiebreakers. Because if Houston beats the Breakers, then it's going to depend on the outcome of the Stars against the Panthers game. Because if the Gamblers win and the Stars win, then the Gamblers make the playoffs due to aggregate schedule. But if the... Uh, Gamblers win and the Panthers win. The Breakers then make the playoffs because of the tiebreaker, uh, which is point differential. So, actually, breaking this game down now that you guys know the scenarios, uh, the Breakers, they've gotten back to their winning ways, winning two straight, including a dominant 31-3 win over the Showboats last week. The Gamblers, on the other hand, they haven't been quite as good lately. The Breakers' offense has been playing really well. McLeod Buffalo Thompson has really found a stride, and the Breakers' defense has been dominating the past few weeks, including holding the Showboats to just three points and forcing them into five turnovers last week. And they face a Gamblers offense that has struggled lately. They were unable to score a touchdown last week. They had to settle for five field goals. And I've got the Breakers getting the win, clinching their po uh, spot in the playoffs behind a great defensive performance, winning 23-10. to And the final game, we've got the Panthers against the Stars. So this game will decide the other playoff spot in the North Division as the winner will move on to the playoffs. Now, the Panthers, they're at home, but they haven't won at home yet this season. And the Panthers, they also made a very, very interesting decision. Because the Panthers, they've started Josh Lovett quarterback for the entire season up to this point. 
And they have a massive game. It's essentially a playoff game because if they win, they move on. If they lose, they go home. But they opted to change quarterbacks and start EJ Perry, who was a midseason addition to the team and hasn't even been active for a single game this season. So it's a very interesting decision for Mike Nolan and the Panthers. Now, the only possible reason I could come up with that of why they're going to start Perry over Josh Love and even have Josh Love be inactive, he's not even going to be active. Brian will work, will serve as their second quarterback. But the only possible explanation I can come up with for that is the Panthers are benching Josh Love after a four interception performance last week. But he had multiple interceptions that were deflected and also was playing against the best defense in the USFL. So I definitely think this is a kind of a head scratching decision for the Panthers. Especially because it was a mid season addition. We've never seen EJ Perry even take a snap in the USFL. So playing him in essentially a playoff game is kind of confusing. Now, for the Stars, they've been great lately. Despite their loss last week, they still played a tremendous game offensively. Now, quarterback Case Cookus did get banged up in that game, although he is good to go for this massive showdown this week. Now, because the Panthers have not won at home, they're coming off a bad game against the Mowers, and they've got some uncertainty at the quarterback position because we just don't know what they're going to get from UJ Perry. I've got the Stars getting the win 27-17 and officially punching their spot to the playoffs. And uh, we will also have a live watch party for this game starting about 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys there uh, when we will find out who will make the playoffs from the North Division. But uh, those are my Week 10 USFL predictions. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn notifications so at the upcoming videos. I do my best puts as often as possible. Make sure to check out the community tab on my channel where you guys can vote on who you think will win this week's games. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Turn notifications open in the comments. What's your who who makes the playoffs from each division? Because it is definitely up in the air as of now, heading into week ten. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn notifications. I do my best to put as often as possible, and I will see you in the next video.